Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, I've already recorded the video, but I'm just prefacing this with, it's a pretty long video, so timestamps like always down below. I don't know how I got to 27 minutes, but put everything in timestamp, so if anything catches your eye, check it out. We weren't necessarily gonna record a video, but something just came out and... Um, Made me wanna come out all over again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, our favorite couple, I mean, um, Kermu, uh, they were featured in a magazine spread today and we want to talk about it because these images are, these images are very striking and breathtaking and I was shook when I've seen, when I saw them. I don't actually think you've even really seen them. Have I was going to say, I'm going to do a live reaction. Yes. Well live here yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the first time i'm going to be seeing them because i didn't want to you, see them so yeah. i'm gonna get shook because we do want to do an updated sam and christy video the last video we did we talked about them going to australia for the holiday break over christmas they were in western australia sam's hometown for two three weeks and there's a lot of content that came out we're going to talk about that at some point but they were together the last three weeks and then then they had to go back you know home quote unquote because sam had to go back to london for the wsl and christy had to uh go to january camp slash she just played in the friendly for against new zealand huh. so they had to go back to work they had time together we're going to go over that in another video but it's monday now and that's when the article just came out so we're going to read it from this article because it was you know they've done a few articles like this where they talk about kind of their personal um, story but I mean again another revealing article a lot of like just things that you know the fans love I mean we love these things but I guess we'll kind of go to the Instagram first because you know, a publication in the UK called Gaffer I believe that's how you pronounce it it's like a very modern uh, publication um a spread with them and it was a very like it was weird it was a modern yet traditional type of photographs. So we'll go to, so I'm gonna go to the gaffer, their Instagram. Uh, I, the first thing I guess we'll look at is this right here. We see Sam Kerr, I mean. I wish you could see my face, love the outfit. I mean, that's, I mean, that's high fashion. Sam and Christy are high fashion, you know what I mean? Such high fashion. Yes. Too fashionable, I don't even know what to do about it. Okay, so we go to the next picture. This is the first picture we're gonna look at. Oh, very modern. I mean, these pictures are very modern, very just like editorial. You know what I mean? Love Such a it. concept. Um, I love the red. Um, I love Christy's hair. I love Sam's slicked back hair. Slicked back hair, yes. And so we'll go to this next next picture of <sighs> Sam and Christy. It's, these are so high fashion. This should be Sam's new hair. hairdo. I was just thinking that the bun. <laughs> I, you know, Cadet Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Hell Kelly. yeah. But I love it. <laughs> and I love, uh, they just look very in sync with each other. They look like birds. Yes, birds or are angels. Angels. Yes. Or butterfly. Um, metamorphosis. Oh, metamorphosis. <gasps> a metamorphosis. Yeah. And then next picture right here is. Oh. That is. this for Christmas. That is very high fashion, very. I mean, and Christy is Miss Fashion. I mean, she's going to talk about it a little bit in the article, but that's what she wants to do. Once her career as a professional athlete is over, she wants to do something in fashion. Oh, and she should. Yes. Um, okay, then we'll read a little bit right here. This is the caption that they have on there on the picture. Never one to shy away from the spotlight. Sam Kerr and Christy Mewis have redefined what it means to be a power couple in sport with their unfiltered and unapologetic approach to life on and off the pitch. We sat down with them to discuss their goals for 2023 ahead of the Women's World Cup and share why they're committed to spreading queer joy on the timeline. Yeah, so that that's a little bit from the post, but we're going to get into the article. But so then they have a couple themes of these uh, looks that they have. Then we have kind of that red theme. Um, and then also this, this is a video and we'll play that too. Looking so regal. These are such regal photos. Yeah. So regal. They both. Megan and Harry who? No, no. yeah. Sarah and I are watching the <laughs> Megan and Harry, um, Netflix documentary. movie. Documentary. Uh, documentary while we're eating dinner and, uh, very regal. Totally. So chic. And so, I mean, that's, that's the power couple. They are the power couple. I was going to say, very powerful as well. And then we have uh, Christy Muse there. And then, oh, 
I just love I love how they just go for it and it's like that's it, iconic it looks so natural it doesn't look like they're putting a put on you know what I mean like they're you know sometimes people dress up and they look like they don't look comfortable they look completely comfortable yes I can never do this <laughs> yes they look completely comfortable you know, high fashion spaces that that's mm-hmm. what they love you know and that's part of the one thing that's nice about them as athletes they really embrace that part of it some people are like no i don't care about hair makeup clothes they really enjoy it which is really nice to see yeah um and then we have this i mean i love sam's outfit there that is actually my favorite outfit those look like snowboarding pants and i'm here for that yes (laughs) and then chrissy's outfit is something else i love that Love and then whatever that these, is these are very ni- we always say that we always, Sarah and I always go this is very 90s very 90s um oversized uh coats right oh, there oh yes Ooh, they can rob me any day with that outfit <laughs> Christy actually posted a tiktok about it too but these images these images are just stunning stunning um and I they look it. so natural you know and the one where she's hugging her from the back Christy very cute so cute so natural so cute um it looks like a lot of fun too yeah so much fun you know what i really liked about these pictures you know some publications maybe try to blur out any imperfection you can really see the texture Mm. of their skin you can really just see um very they're very real photographs i think yes we love rabs real ass bitches it's like very (laughs) real real photographs they love representing themselves and and they're not shy about it and i love that those pictures are amazing beautiful they're amazing they are stunning on gaffer's website there is an interview that they did and this you know they've done interviews but you know it talks a little more kind of about things that we've always wondered about their timeline when when did they get to know each other you know we didn't even know that they knew each other even though of course they were played in the nwsl for so long um but they did this interview it's a pretty long interview but sarah and i are just going to read from parts that we thought were really interesting because maybe i'll link the interview down below but they really get into it you know we're going to read a little bit from it because some of it's so interesting You don't need to be particularly plugged in to women's football to know the names Sam Kerr and Christy Mewis. Both are successful athletes in their own right. Sam is a striker for Australia's Matildas in Chelsea, where she won every domestic trophy and two women's Super League golden boots, while Christy is a forward for Gotham FC in the National Women's Soccer League and the U.S. Women's National Team. Together, they've become more than just footballers. Sam and Christy are high-performance athletes with the most relatable vibes. So again, more pictures on the website. This person interviewing them kind of asked them, you know, what you know, you you are gearing up for the World Cup, uh, and that is something that is probably on your mind. What is that like? And she kind of talks about it here. We're just raging for the next six months to the World Cup, says Sam, doing whatever we can. We both feel like we've been gunning for this World Cup for so long now that it's kind of going to be like we're just. Get, we're just giving everything for the next six months and then it's going to be like a breath of fresh air yeah and i mean i think it, that's the thing you know sam and christy obviously are both well-known soccer players sam is one of the most famous fo- female footballers in the world and so she's definitely going to the world cup but that's actually you know still a question you know christy is going to do everything she can to make that world cup roster and i mean i think they understand the pressure in their own way sam has to be number one best player on her team and Christy's like I'm doing everything I can to make sure I'm there so it's like yeah. the same but different pressure but absolutely the same that kind of pressure. of pressure yes and then Christy says I think we're talking about it yesterday because it's like oh my god 2022 is ending and then it's January and then that's the year of the World Cup it's just crazy that it's coming so fast but it's exciting yeah so they are definitely pumped um and then interview kind of just talks about things like i said we're not going to go over everything but we're gonna we're gonna go over a couple questions that i thought were interesting so you know they talk about the relationship and then so the interviewer asks long distance relationships are not easy how do you guys make it work sam says it sounds stupid but we set little milestones for example just to get ahead just just get to the end of july and we're one week away we set little milestones we make time during the week where we'll watch the same show and FaceTime or have dinner together or something. But it's tough. I think the thing that keeps us going is that we can see that we can see an end point. We both just want each other to do so well in our careers. I don't think you could be in a long distance relationship with someone who didn't get the sport. She fully gets it and I get it. 
so we just support each other. The end point is that we'll eventually live in the same place. It's just after our careers are dust. Yeah, so, I mean, I think, you know, we've even talked about relationships where the fact that they've been long distance for pretty much their whole relationship, it works for them to be long distance. That's all they kind of know you know, essentially, and it's working for them. Um, and what they, she said right there, we're going to eventually live in the same place once our careers are over. And I mean, that's long-term thinking, you know what say. I mean? That's not Get saying, you haul for real this yes, time. Yes. <laughs> it's not just saying, oh, we'll see where it takes us. It's like, no, when we're done, we're still going to be together. We're confident in that. And then we're going to live in the same place. So I love that thinking, yeah. the very far off thinking is like, no, that's not even a question almost. You know what I mean? It's going to be the mama to my babies. <laughs> <laughs> too soon? Too soon? I don't know. Okay. So more pictures. Obviously, again, these pictures are just very striking. It, it's striking how natural they look in front of the camera. You know what I mean? Some of Christy really look very comfortable. Yeah. They look like this is what they love doing because it, it shows. Because I really think they just love that aspect of it um i especially love this picture like christy looks so regal there very and i love sam's hair and i love sam's i just love i love sam seeing sam in the, that atmosphere yeah because we normally see her in her usual you know and you know t-shirt and sneakers so it's like nice to see her in these clothes that you would never put her yeah in, you know? exactly love exactly it. okay so the, here they asked kind of like about where they got to know each other. And so we're going to talk a little bit about this because I thought this was very in interesting. So they ask, how did you first meet? Did you cross over at all when both played in the USA? Sam says, we did play a match against each other, but I thought her team was crazy. When I play, I'm such a shit stirrer, and she was getting so angry. We always laugh about it because the one game we were playing terribly, and they were playing so good. We won the game 1-0. We won the game 1-0. I was laughing so much because they hit every post. They hit everything. It was funny to me that we were still winning. We always talked about this one time where she tried to get the ball and it was a free kick for her team. She put the ball down and I kicked it away and, and was like, really? We we didn't know we didn't know each other apart from that. That is so funny. I have actually seen um, clips or gifs from that game when they and people are like, look, they played this game and they they were, rival, they were rivals during this game. But that was like one of the only interactions I had ever seen them from each other. But even Sam said back then, Christy was crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, from rivals to lovers. Yes. And also, she goes, I can just Im imagine, envision Christy getting so angry on the field because Christy is so intense when she plays. Yes, I love it. Um, but it's funny to go from there. I bet they look at those pictures now and think, oh, my God, that was us. But it's not us. But it is us. Yeah. You know, those moments. Baby um, us. Exactly. And we, we didn't even know each other, but now we know each other. Um, but, of course, they knew of each other, you know. Here's another question. It says, so... So it was a relationship that was pretty much all forged online. Sam says, yep, through COVID. Christy says, yeah, we for yeah, we were forced to talk. Literally forced to talk. Instagram just started talking. It was about three or four months until we could hang out in person. The first time we ever met was quarantine. So we had to spend two weeks together the first time we met. I was thinking, if I don't like her, if I don't like her, this is going to be awkward. And then Christy says... But we knew. We knew it was going to be good. Um, so that is, I think that is very interesting. Because remember, when we had done our videos or, you know, when a lot of Woso was talking about it, not just us doing our videos, but, you know, when it was coming out where Sam was commenting on Christy's videos, commenting on Christy's Instagram, liking things. Um, and you could see them, see them in that phase of a... Uh, whether or not they were official at that point or still talking that um, this relationship was forming also because she said that they were there uh, they spent two weeks together and it was during COVID quarantine so w what I can put together is that Christy from what it, apparently Christy went over there at some point some people think it was after the Netherlands game in 2020 it, you know where she spent time over there and um, talk about this thing you know we had two weeks so if we didn't actually like each other in real life and it was going to be awkward because they had two weeks of quarantine with each other <laughs> i was gonna say it sounds like 90 day fiance to yes, me. No. <laughs> yes but it sounded like it really worked out after that i believe that's when we kept seeing kind of their interactions more on social media at that point they're yeah. like no we like each other this is a thing it's gonna happen 
we're in love. Um, so that is interesting because I think I think it's true for like a lot of people in this day and age. You you really get to know each other online. Sarah and I got we met on Twitter. So <laughs> I always true tell that. people. So it's kind of like that is very it's like hashtag relatable, you know. <laughs> so relatable. So relatable. Okay. So it says, do you guys ever feel pressure as individuals or as a couple given your status in the sport? Sam has a really good answer. I'm not going to read her answer, but I'm going to read Christy's answer because I thought this was very sweet. Christy said, Christy says, I think just being out and being two girls in love. I think if we can change one or two people's lives and the way that they feel about each other and how comfortable they feel, then that means a lot to me. I love to share my relationship on social media. So I think if we can change the way one or two people feel about themselves, they can look at us and see that we're happy and we're trying to be as successful as we can and we're out, we're an out gay couple. I think that's so important. I just love that answer because it's like how we've been talking about Christy and Sam for the last two years or the last almost two years it's that they're just being themselves they're just showing that they can be who they want to be unapologetically unapologetically out there still be successful still be you know playing well and everything like that but they're just two people that are very much in love who are very much not gonna they're gonna just put it out there and that's who they are and that's and they want to show other people hey If you want to put it out there, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let other people dictate what you want to do. And just letting, you know, uh, other queer people know that it's okay to be queer. Exactly. Because it's like, you know, they're proud of each other. They're proud of themselves. They are in a gay relationship. And they're unapologetically gay and unapologetically in a gay relationship. And it's don't let anyone make you feel less than because you happen to be in love with the same gender. I wasn't going to have Sarah read Sam's answer, but I kind of like this quote too. Um, Sam was talking about them being a couple and how it affects their soccer right there. That's what I worry about most out of anything is that our coaches or teammates don't think that we can separate the two, whereas the fans just support us. I hope people know that when it's training time or play time, it doesn't come into it. I remember one time in Newcastle, Australia, she came on, we were playing against each other and we went in we went in on each other. We'd, we'd kill each other. But I worry that people think that we're not serious about our careers. At the Olympics, we were so excited to see each other. But I, but I didn't want people to think that we were just at the Olympics to see each other. I know that people don't think that, but that's the worry. And that's actually an interesting, that's, that's actually something very interesting. Because I've often thought that as a fan, like, what do their teammates think about them being so open and, you know, unapologetic and kind of, you know, some people would say wild. They're not wild, but you know what I'm saying. What oh, <laughs> what is their coaches? What are their teammates? Does, has it ever interfered with the way that they have those interpersonal relationships on their team? And yeah. I think there's always going to be teammates who just don't like somebody for whatever reason. Um, and it, they might have teammates that says, I don't like how public they are, but that's that's not Sam and Christie's problem. It's the person who doesn't like it. You know what I'm saying yeah, by that? It's, and I think it's interesting. Sam says she kind of worries about... People thinking that, hey, just because her girlfriend's going to be on the other team, girlfriend's going to be at the Olympics, that's what she's more focused on. She's like, I'm not focused, more focused on that. It's an aspect of what I've, it's an aspect of my life, but I'm there to play soccer. I'm there to play football. Yes, it's great. I get to see my girlfriend, but I can separate the two. Yeah, I think when they're on the pitch, they're a hundred thousand percent in the game on the pitch it's like the other person almost doesn't even exist right in a way you know sort of have that tunnel vision for um the goal which is to win right i think when they're it's like separating business and pleasure right is that what you would say yeah yeah exactly and also if the teammates do have problem the coaches have a problem it's kind of like there's always going to be not everyone's going to get along anyway so (laughs) But I guess also with that, if her teammates or more so her coaches think it's a distraction, I guess that's the conversation for Sam to have with the coaches. If it is a distraction, because there is a lot of rules, too, about things, I guess, uh, because their main focus is to win. Um, And there is going to be distractions, but there's always distractions of some sort anyway. You know what I mean? She kind of alludes to that. She doesn't want anyone thinking, no, I'm not here to win, which she is. Um, then there's a question was, then here's a question. Was there ever a point where you didn't want to share 
it so publicly. And we've talked about this. You know, they're so out there. They're so public. But was there ever a time? And Sam says... We didn't share it for ages. Then it just got too hard to hide it. I remember one time we were with some friends and some fans asked us for a picture. And then we thought, we don't really want this coming out from someone else. We want to be the ones to share it. We hid it from everyone because it's a private thing when you don't know if it's going to be serious. Once we told our friends, it kind of started getting out of, it it kind of started getting out there a little bit. And Chrissy says, I was so proud that she was mine, so I wanted to share it. I love her, and I was so proud to be her girlfriend. Cute. That, that is not so cute. I want to show sh- she's mine. I love that. I love she's yeah. so proud. She's like, no, this, you know, she's mine. Um, watch it back. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sam says, we're not private people. I like sharing my story. I like, sh- I like sharing who I am outside of football. F- football is 5% of my life. And then Chrissy says, I think it's endearing to share your life with other people because I think if they can relate to you and you can maybe change their lives, I think it's important, especially with our platform to share. Yeah. And I think I think we need I think we need couples of all opinions. I think we need the Sam and Christie's. I think we need other people who don't want to be public with their relationships as much because that's OK. Every 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 person who decides what they want to do is okay but i think we need them all i think we need sam and christie's but also we need the people that maybe don't want to share because they're like you know we're just they might not want to share because they are more private or more just shy you know shy about those things but to have a sam and christie be out there and representing the other side of saying we're out here we're gay and we're having fun i love that and i definitely think we need that uh as a representation for uh queer couple I definitely think we need all types of people so I love that Sam and Christy are representing to say I want to share that's who I am I'm in love and this is us and they go outside of football what do you guys like to do together and then Christy goes we're cou-, and then she goes, Christy says we're couch potatoes we'll binge a murder mystery we don't do anything cool, which is so funny. Uh, <laughs> okay, their pictures say otherwise. I know, but... so say, I'm sure, yes, they do do very cool things. But you know those types of, like, I don't do anything cool the next day or, you know. Okay, the, uh, the last thing we'll kind of talk about, um, uh, 2023 is going to be a huge year with the Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. Have you got a sense of the excitement for the tournament? And Sam just talks about it a little bit. Every time we've been home this year for the national team, it's been amazing. Everyone's talking about it. This next international window in February is going to be amazing. Every time we've played at home, we've broken a crowd record. When the U.S. came, when Sweden came, and recently we played in Melbourne, and we had an amazing crowd. Australians love sport, and they love the Matildas. I think the rest of the world is coming out and seeing it as a great oppor- as an opportunity to, to go to Australia as it's so far. Everyone in Australia is absolutely pumped. My family is pumped because they don't have to to, because they don't have to have their passports out and spend thousands of dollars. It's very relatable. They don't want to spend the thousands if they don't have to. And then, and then it's a cute. The question per, the person asks the interviewer asks Christy, "Have you found that you've become a fan favorite in Australia because you're with Sam?" And that's an interesting question because you know when you when um, Australia loves Sam, so of course you're gonna love person who Sam's with. You know and. Christy played on the national team. She played in the game in Australia not that long ago, but then she said something funny. But then Sam says, Yeah, when she came on for the USA game in November, everyone went crazy. You have got the you got the loudest roar. And then Christy goes, Yeah, my roar was louder than Alex Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> that is so That's funny. Cute. Because everyone knows Alex Morgan. Obviously, she's the most recognizable person right. on the... But Christy, in Australia, she got the loudest roar. I'll link the article down below, but I love this. You know, I think the most uh, the most interesting part of this article might have been the idea that, you know, they really got to know each other during COVID. It was an online thing for most of it until mm-hmm. well, they really had got time to go together. And also, Sam talking about, you know, she wants to make sure people know I'm in this relationship. I'm proud. First is to soccer. You know what I mean? Yeah. That she can separate the two. And Obviously, all these footballers who are in public relationships always say that. I think the fact that um, Sam is saying she, you know, she kind of worries about making sure people know, yes, I can separate it and would never want to show she can separate it because and that she kind of worried she has worried about it in the past that people think that she can. So I thought that was very revealing, too. 
yeah she's very professional and you know she's yeah able to separate the, the two yeah but they you know they're out there they're in love they're not going anywhere they're gonna be together for a long time <laughs> As she says in this article. Forever. And the World Cup is coming and Sam supports Christy like no other. Christy supports Sam. And, um, you know, it's it works for them. And thank goodness. It works they, for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness they found each other because they both seem to be very in sync about how they see their public personas, too. Right. You know what I mean? Because if, if you're not in sync with a person you're in a relationship with, that's not always going to work out, you know. And they're so proud of each other as well. Um, and what did you think about these images? I mean, they're striking. I saw Nicole. Beautiful. Um, Nicole Baxter, one of Christie's old teammates on Gotham. I don't think Nicole plays for Gotham anymore. But she says on the thing, she goes, I'm going to tell my kids this is the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> so true, though. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but striking pictures. A lot of their teammates put comments in the pictures on Instagram. <laughs> Kelly O'Hara goes, Hot damn, you two. <laughs> uh, striking, striking pictures. And, you know, the thing about Sam and Christy and about any of these couples, they're probably like, you don't have to like us. You know, that's a lot of people don't like a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like, but they're just living their life. Yeah, you know? I thought everybody loved everybody. Huh? <laughs> Weird. What world am I living <laughs> I in? <laughs> but they're just living their life. And the fact that they found each other after not knowing each other for so long, realistically not knowing each other, just knowing of each other and then finding each other and saying, hey, we really like each other. Hey, we have a lot in common. Hey. Would you say they found love in a hopeless place? Yay! We found love in a hopeless place. Fashion, they're fashion queens. They are fashionistas. Yes. And they, and I love how open Christy is about loving fashion and wanting to make that a career at some point, you know, after soccer. I just love them. You know, I love Christy's quote. It's just about two girls in love. We just want to be two girls in love, you know. And nothing wrong with that. Isn't that the hope and the dream, though, for everyone? Totes. I love it. Questions, <laughs> comments down below. What is your favorite picture? I think my favorite picture is the one where, not in the red, but in the one in the white where they're kind of looking at each other. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Christy looks so seductive. Oops. And my favorite outfit is uh, Sam in that white, those wide leg pants. I love those. Yes. She looks great. And they're having fun. Young and fun. You know? I love it. Questions, comments down below. What did you guys think? Um, yeah. So we're going to do an update about what they have also been up to. But um, very exciting stuff. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone soon. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.